Two years after he rocks now, of nearly a million dollars, Stephen Russell has escaped from prison twice. He's trying to get back to his level of the loss. He's broken. He's now he's a police guard at the Baylor Medical Center in Dallas. He has a police officer. He doesn't have a gun. 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 He says, I understand this. The subject there that you're holding for us. The question. Yeah. So yeah. that we're wanting to know is frequently when you were able to write. This is the way we were. 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 By that time, the big guy is several miles away. Christina is left behind the crucial woman's for his identity. That was he had been caught at the bank. One of the people at the bank had noticed that he was seized, and that is the place of crime. He had to see the same to see if he was a man. He was a man. So, he had a Cops suspect Stephen is in touch with his boyfriend, so he calls the jail where Philip is incarcerated. Stephen, posing as a lawyer, has visited the jail for his case in Vegas. Cops tell him he's happy that Stephen is his friend. Soon this will belong to well, cops get back to square one. Stephen gets to some class. I don't see them. I don't see them. The class is searching without changing his appearance. He decides. Hey, it's Stephen. He decides to get. Uh, you see him? It's Stephen. It's Stephen. Cops has one solid lead. A list of phone numbers provided by a hotel where Stephen stays for a time in Dallas. I'm going to recognize I'll just call and ask him who is And I can't use one phone number. So what kind of news is this? Who buys a phone number? I can't see it. 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 He said, yeah. He said, I was talking to the guys more. He said, I'm waiting on the fixing of the cinema facts. But we're not putting documents for him to sign. I said, don't send me facts. You need to know the fax machine. And I'll tell you, I'll call you back and tell you when I'm going to send me facts. So I called a colleague in the uh, fax machine. Where he was. And then the senior also comes up to pick up his fax. That's exactly what happens. Steve also is smart, but he's not that smart. He's not smart enough to say we know that. As he and Ken got away with it, when it not for his Achilles heel, Philip Morris. It was uh, his uh, unrelenting pursuit of Philip Morris. That uh, brought him to the surface. Wait a second, I just want to back up. Wait, back where is this? Wait a second. He never served the 45 oh, years with an ad case. I want to zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. That the state also prosecutes and arrests him. The whole scene is really in his mind. So he's a scary little state. He's a scary little state. He's a scary little state. The jury disagrees. Oh, he's he's not going to be fast at all. He's Stephen of escape. It's so going to be as he is sentenced under the Texas Beast Rats Law. That 17 year old he held out for a time. Oh, dear, the uh, someone that was going to uh -oh. uh, uh, not for that. Uh, 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 saying, well, he's not violent. He tells you that he's not violent because, no, I agree, he's not violent. He's very dangerous. He might be going another way. The final sentence totals 144 years. In fact, he's been sentenced to life in prison uh, for uh, 
Maybe it just ruined it for me. 